Hi guys, welcome back to Artie Peggy. Today's video is a bit different from usual. Today I want to have an introductory course to future tutorials that I plan to do on this channel. And the reason I, I am having this course is because I want us to have a similar mindset as we participate in this journey of Being growing just, as better artists I'll and be more skillful artists. This night just can't end. I just want you guys to understand my point of view, my psychological point of view when I think of what art is. So that when I post tutorials here, you guys can all follow along with me and understand where exactly I am coming from. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's head into the actual video. This night just can't end. Outside the artist community, sorry, there's this motion outside the artist community that to be an artist, you have to have like some kind of natural born talent. Like you just wake up one day and you grab your pencil and you're like, just like painting and drawing and webs, just whoa, natural talent. And I know this because I have a lot of artist friends and whenever we're drawing in public or talking about people who like to watch us draw in general we notice that they ask a certain pattern of questions these questions are always repeated in different forms basically what they are trying to say in general is you are talented which i don't particularly agree with talent is very very overrated So tell me you can't I find this to be a very destructive mindset to have, especially as someone who just started art, someone who's a beginner. It's destructive in general, it's a stereotype that I want to discard from my life as an artist. I'm trying to, I'm going to explain why I believe so in this video. When people call art a talent, they aren't referring most of the time, majority of the time, they aren't, they aren't referring to like emotions or words. They are referring to someone's skill. And skill is very different from talent. When people talk about art as a talent, they are talking about how much, how similar whatever you drew is to what it is in real life. They are talking about this realism, photorealism. You know, they're just referring to how much you can put on paper exactly what you have seen in real life. You got the upper hand. So if this isn't art as a talent, what exactly is art as a talent? To me, in my personal opinion, art as a talent is the ability to bring out something within you, bring out something that could be an emotion, a feeling, a step in your life at that point or in someone else's life and putting it in the physical room, the physical being where everyone around you can see it and feel it. Art should be able to make an impact in someone else's life regardless whether they know it or not. Who keeps rising up? to talk about is skill and I'm referring to skill as an artist. Skill is what people tend to misrecognize as talent. Skill is the ability to replicate what is before you. It's the ability to shade properly, it's the ability to pattern properly, it's the ability to add texture etc etc. And every artist, regardless how much you claim something is your style or it's just your unique way of art, 
every artist needs a level of skill skill you can't be satisfied with the most mediocre of standards you have to have actual professional level of skill or at least be working towards it and then when you reach when you reach that level when you reach that standpoint you can forgo and manipulate and stylize however you want Just the story the truth is, and this is a truth that a lot of artists try to deny, myself included, but talent without a foundation in skill can only take you so far. In the next five seconds, just think about your top five artists. You think that they are so famous that everyone knows about. So we're going to think about those artists now. One, two, three, four, five. Who did you think of? Leave that down in the comments below. Personally, I thought of Leonardo, obviously, not the Caprio. Leonardo da Vinci, I thought of Vincent van Gogh, I thought of Michelangelo, Pablo Picasso, and finally I thought of Salvador Dali. To be fair, I don't think I don't think a lot of people that aren't in the art industry or interested in art themselves actually know about Salvador Dali. But because I have so many friends who are into surrealism painting, like me. He's kind of popular in my in my circle, so I'm just gonna add him there. What do all these artists have in common? They have what I spoke about previously. They have the ability to move people. Their art isn't hyper realistic. And the person is. Pablo Picasso. So, this is how cubism looks. It looks extremely eccentric. But that's not where Pablo Picasso began. This can be clearly seen from a series of self portraits that Picasso did throughout his life. This was the first self portrait that Pablo Picasso did. This is the oldest piece that they found. It's crazy how he went from that to this. But what he's majorly known for is cubism. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell.